I'll show you two ways of pressing flowers. The first is under books. The second is in a microwave. So these are some hydrangeas that I got from outside, but any small flowers will work for pressing. To press flowers under a book, you will need some scrap paper. You'll want to place the flowers face down or on their side onto the paper. Carefully remove the stems if you need to. If the stems are in the way when the flowers are under pressure, sometimes they can bend the flowers a certain way so they won't be flat when being pressed. Continue to fit as many flowers as you can on half of the paper's surface. When you're finished placing the flowers, carefully fold the paper in half so it covers all the flowers, and then you will be ready to press them. Place the flowers under some heavy books and leave them for at least two days. For the microwave, you will need napkins or paper towel, anything that will absorb the moisture from the flowers well. Place the flowers on their side or face down and don't forget to remove the stems. Microwaving flowers is good if you have light colored flowers or are short on time. This way, the flowers won't go brown in the drying process. Continue placing the flowers on the napkin or paper towel. When you're finished, fold the napkins or paper towel in half so the flowers are covered. You will also need two microwavable plates. Place the flowers between them and press down on the plates. When microwaving your flowers, make sure your microwave is at a lower power. Microwave your flowers for 30 seconds at a time. You will need to do this five or six times depending on how powerful your microwave is. Check your flowers between microwaving. Sometimes you will have to switch the plates or dry them off because they do collect moisture from the flowers. So the flowers have finished drying. First, the microwaved dried flowers. They have dried very nicely and kept their colors. Very, very beautiful. For the book dried flowers, you can see that it started to turn a little bit brown on the edges, but still maintain most of their color and have pressed very flat. You can use pressed flowers to make cards, bookmarks, add it to drawings or paintings or anything at all. And you're done! Have fun making beautiful pressed flower art.